I'm not going to try to uh, recreate the old mix. I'm just going to try to come up with something that sounds cool. Wow. A lot of kick drum in that snare mic. Hmm, let's, let's just check something here phase-wise. Well, that was not better. Um, let's try a few quick things. Again, there are tools now that I didn't have then. The snare sounded a little thin. One of my best friends, but it can also cause a lot of trouble, is the old voice of God, which is great for boosting low end on a snare drum or a tom. does a lot. I mean, you saw when I searched for the frequencies, when I found the fundamental frequency of the snare, I made it a lot fatter. But let's, again, it's really easy to go nuts with this. So. Let's turn up the snare a little bit. Do we just turn it up or do we do a little more something to it? I'm always super paranoid about compressing the actual snare. I'll use compression on lots of other things, room mics, front of kit, um, certainly on the drum bus, but I almost never put a compressor on the snare mic itself. Let me try something. These kick drums are, sound surprisingly similar to one another. One is a one is a Sennheiser 602 mic, which is a really cool mic. It captures the low end of the bass drum better than, than most any mic I ever use. Um, it doesn't have much else to it. It has sort of a, a tight, slappy high end that I don't care for, but as long as it gets the lows, that's what I care about. And it is sort of a big natural scoop in the low mids. So if it's your only kick drum mic, it can be a little boring. So the other mic being used here is a, is a PR, PR40. I believe that's a Heil mic. I hope I'm right about that. Am I getting it right? I think so. Um, which is going to be more like an RE20, you know, uh, a little more than mid-range, but, but they sound surprisingly similar today. Who knows? I just thought, what if I did a slightly, put a little something on one of them just to give it a little, a little more attack. Uh, and instead of just adding some mid-range, I'm just going to try a little compressor. And again, this problem could be a bad idea because it, this could also add length to it, which I don't necessarily want at all. It's not bad, and then, I don't know, maybe this is really even more stupid. To counteract that, let's, let's try artificially shortening it a little with the old transient designer, I don't know. I'd rather not gate it. There's no reason to gate it in a way. 